Hey, hello YouTube, welcome to my video as usual with me random weekly video where I did all kinds of experiment air conditioning stuff and any other weird stuff because today I have the 30 watts flood light it's an LED lights so let's plug it in this is the real power of 30 watts let's look at that, how bright is it But there's oops, oops. Because as some of you might probably already know, if you have watched a channel called BigClive.com on YouTube, oops, again. Let me zoom it in to his channel. This guy right here. He did some teardown of this kind of LED. But it, it seems to have only like few, not full power as it's rated. Like for example, it's rated at 10 watt. It'll only run at 5 or 6 watt. Where is it? There's... Or maybe you can just go ahead and check it by yourself. Anyway, just skip it maybe. I really can't find this video, where is it? Uh, forget it, I can't find it. Okay, so back to my LED. These are modified LED, what? LED lights, I mean. Right. I have to take off all the screws. Let's take out the metal that would hold the glass in place. Ta-da, look at those. There are two bells in here. So at the time I purchased these things, I already know these things not going to running at its rated power. And it is! Because it was only running at like 15 or 17 watts, if I'm not mistaken. So I already think this is not going to be real 30 watts, so I bought a 30 watt ballast or LED driver with it at the same time together and say okay maybe I'll just replace the, the thing inside here with a new one but uh, I'm wrong the, in the, the one that is right here was clearly said it was designed for 20 watts LED you say DC 20, 36 volts, 20 watts. Hmm. Okay. Why would they put 20 watt driver on 30 watts LED? And yeah, these things. As far as I know, 20 watts. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, 20 watts LED was supposed to run at 600. If I'm saying. Yep, 600 milliamps. But guess what I found when I measured these things with my multimeter? It was only running at... What is that? 400 or... 400, 500 milliamps? Not even close to 20 watts, of course. It's only 17 watts. So I said, okay, I'll just replace these things with a bigger one that I bought. But what I found is that... Well, this one slightly bigger than this one see, see the size is bigger but still full of bullshit this is the real 20 watts and this is like maybe they say it 20 watts but it was an only uh, 17 so this only drive the LED at 600 milliamps so or 700 if I remember correctly. So I say, oh my god, why is this thing so bad? And um, I mean, I sort of put both of these things in here. Let me check camera. Huh? It's recording. I managed to put both, both of these things in here. They do run at 890 milliamps. That's close enough to 30 watts at around 38 volts 
So the LEU puts out around 32 watts of power. So the way I combine these things is by putting Schottky diode in here. Uh, 1N5819. So they want a first bias the driver because this thing is a switching power supply. <coughs> so what happens if you if you get power back into another switching power supply is they will mess up with the, the PWM control on it. Just like what happened when I did one with a bigger power supply, the universal one. As you already know, the one with 30 amps, 20 amps rating, but they are good. Just use a diode to put it on positive or negative rail and they are good to go. So with these two things, it run at clearly 30 watts and also I do modify on these things with the cable. These things usually come with black cable and it was size, it have 3 by 0.5 square millimeter if I'm not mistaken. And I do replace it with 3 by 0.75 square millimeter. So that's good enough as far as I know. Because this only pulls 30 watts. And it's completely sealed, no water can get in. I don't know if there will be a leak in here. But it should be okay as far as I know. So this is what the LED looks like with only 20 watts. I mean 17 watts. Get some solder because the solder on my tape is completely oxidized I'm going to clean this thing up my YOLO way you want yes look it cleans it it does clean it up a little bit and you're good to go and guess what I found in, inside here I think this LED is not a brand new LED because I do found a residual or what you call it like they just simply wiggle the cable until it broke and they replace the brand new barrels put it in Put a sheet loads of glue in here that I have to scrap it in order to get my double sided foam tape to stick. It's annoying. It doesn't even stick though. The original balance was not even sticking. So I said okay let me clean it up and fix it. Now this is what it looks like without it. the ballast that's supposed to be 30 watts. Not so bright. Now this one looks like it. Can you see the difference? Okay, I'll turn off all the light and show you what it looks like in my bedroom. set it up okay here's what the power of the original 20 watts balance 17 watts I mean this what it looks like with the addition just look at how bright is it maybe you can't see it on camera it seems very bright on camera but in real life I can clearly see the difference That isn't that amazing. How they put a lower power. How they put a lower power driver on bigger LED. And I do. They did it. What I surprised is that they even even with those crappy cables that comes with it, they do put a ground. So I just simply 
we'll place the cable and solder it into the crimp connection and we have ground on good I do connect them like this oh the cable just broke okay I'm not going to use this near the water I'll put this thing solder it back in place okay from this I know that this thing is a power supply switching power supply so let's see if any power here is at ground reference or they are isolated I'll find something close to cover the LED hold on oh where's my electrical tape we'll cover the LED with electrical tape and see if it's isolated from wall socket just so it doesn't get the camera to what they call it. see it lights up hey now if we did this and connect it to life you won't get electrocuted oops oopsie there's 2.9 it's a neutral so let's put it on life there it is 2.15 one of them is a Whoa! God damn it! God damn it! Whoa! Okay, I have to find something to cover it. Hold on. Ah, I have an aluminum foil. This will do the job. Okay, it lights up. So let's touch this. It does have 54 volts in between the not to call the DC power to the LED and earth and 55 volts on the positive side I'm gonna get this LED overheat I'm good they didn't damage this LED so that's basically it for this test there a little bit oh let's do one more thing let's measure between the chassis and our body and yeah, touch it turn on 34 volts 27 15 probably below 1 milliamp only a few microamps because it's safe to touch these things I touch it no electric shock but I just want to measure it so I will put it back and thanks for watching like this video if you like it just dislike it if you hate it or think it's useless a completely video with no point and as always, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time on my other video. Bye.